creating high quality and interactive virtual environments such as games and simulators often involves complex and costly manual modeling processes. In this new paper, the researchers have presented video to game which is a new approach that automatically converts videos of real world scenes into realistic interactive game environments. So just think about it. If you are sitting in your home with your family, you just create a video from your phone and then with the help of this new model, you can simply convert it into a game or you have gone somewhere for picnic or even you're having your wedding and then you can just convert your wedding photo or video into a real world real time interactive game how cool is that let me show you a few of the examples now just look here this is just a backyard of a home and then this is the agent in the middle which is freely navigating the virtual environment and their actions are following the real world physics and constrained by the collision models also players can interact with other objects too like soccer balls as you can see on the screen how good is that and then in another example let me scroll down similarly you can see that they are also shooting where it is just going through the principle of rigid body collision dynamics for the central ways and then it is also just because um, it is using this polygon collider it is causing it to fly off and fall to the ground amazing and then in another scene here you go the agent is collecting the coins while running in the kitty loop composed of four street it is just simple uh, real world video which has been sort of juxtaposed into a game and similarly this is a chair fracturing in the kitty 360 scene and then this is a gaming car one and this project page is literally full of thousands of examples which you can watch through uh, and each one of them is quite good so at the heart of this system there are three core components first a neural radiance field or nerve module that effectively captures the geometry and visual appearance of the scene secondly a mesh module that distills the knowledge from nerve for faster rendering and thirdly a physics module that models the interaction and physical dynamics among the project by following the carefully designed pipeline which i will show you shortly anyone can construct an interactable and actionable digital replica of the real world these researchers have also benchmark system on both indoor and large scale outdoor scenes they have also shown that we can not only produce high highly realistic renderings in real time but they can also build interactive games on top of that as you can see in this video in different examples there you go so this is the robot simulation using the vr nerve data set how good is that look at it this is just a robot simulation missing and then again uh, this is a robot simulation where they are leveraging the collision boxes specified in the urdf file there you go and all this is doing is this is just grasping the corresponding collision model of the central bowl on the table and then assuming the use of the magnetic gripper of for object control there you go so this robot is picking the bowl and just relocating it to a different location how good is okay now let's go through the pipeline which is quite interesting now given start from the left given the multiple posed images from a single video as input they first construct a large scale NERP model that is realistic and possesses high quality surface geometry they then transform this NERP model into a mesh representation with corresponding rigid body dynamics to enable interaction then they utilized uv mapped neural texture which is both expressive and compatible with engine of the game also at the end towards the right they obtain an interactive virtual environment that virtual actors can interact with can correspond to user control and deliver high resolution rendering from novel camera perspective all in real time so really amazing project in my humble opinion so given a sequence of images or a scene from some video their goal is to construct an interactable and actionable digital twin 
upon which they can build real-time interactive games or realistic sensor simulators. Based on the observation that prevalent approaches to constructing digital replica mainly focus on visual appearances and ignore the underlying physics interac physical interactions, but that is why they have carefully designed their system such that it can not only produce high quality rendering across viewpoints but also support the modeling of physical actions such as navigation, collision, manipulation, etc. At the heart of this system is a compositional implicit explicit 3D representation that is effective and efficient for both sensors and physical simulations. By decomposing the world into individual entities, they can better model and manipulate their physical properties. For example, specularity, mass and friction. And also they can simulate the outcomes of interaction interactions more effectively. So as even you can see in this uh, example, they are introducing a nerve model that can effectively capture the geometric and visual information of large scale unbounded scene. And then next they present an approach to convert the nerve into a game engine compatible mesh with neural texture map. And that significantly improves the rendering efficiency while maintaining the quality. And to enable physical interactions, they further decompose the scene into individual actionable entities and equip them with respective physical a uh, physics model. Finally, they are describing how they have integrated their interactive environment into a WebGL based game engine. Talking of game engine, let's uh, try it out in the browser. So this is the video to game demo where you can freely explore the world based on garden ways. And this demo is based on sketchbook by the way and you can simply press capital E to shoot pause. So let's press OK. So this is the agent as you can see. And I'm just going to press capital, capital E. There you go. So this is my ball. I pressed it two times. And when I move my mouse. It is moving into the CD. So maybe let's go this way. And there you go. There you go. And let me shoot one more. On this side. Let's turn around. And then let's go. Okay, so it doesn't show me. Not sure how to move this. Okay, I need to hit the base here. Okay, how do I hit it up? Sorry, you guys, I'm so bad at Let me try again. Let, let's go this way. Can I hit it? Oops. Can I hit it? How do I turn this thing? I'll just going to. Anyway. It's not letting me do anything now. Okay, on the left hand side at the bottom you can see that we have some controls like shift jump shooting ball so let me try out some of the controls here so maybe go it like this and then better so i just press capital w oops i'll just press a s e is better. A. W. W. Okay, it's just trying to uh, make sure that it is thing. Is printing. It is. This is a jump. How good is that? And can I jump and shoot? Yes, I can jump and shoot. All I need to do is to make sure that it is uh, okay. Ah, I did it. Okay, so I have hit the base, and you can see that I have shooted 12 balls, and my score is 100 now. At last, I did it. Now, so you can see that how cool this is in terms of this uh, movement, and this is simply a backyard video which has been turned into game with this video to game amazing stuff so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video's description you can also play around 
let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching